What's up guys, it's Timmy and welcome back to Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. So it's been a couple of weeks of real life time since I played this last and I've been itching to get back to it because I have quite a beastly set of colonists here and they are, well to be honest at this point it's not really a demon survival game, it's more with it we're running a demon extermination service. But before I get too cocky because that has cost me before in games, uh, the plan for today is to crack on and start doing lots of exploring and scavenging and so see if we can't find out the uh, where the hell gates are, where all these assholes are coming from because quite frankly they've been turning up at my house pretty regularly to cause trouble for me so I figured I'd go find out where they live and go over there and start kicking their asses at home. Maybe that'll uh, convince them that sticking around on this plane of existence is not for them. So before I do that there I just wanted to do a couple of little shout out things. Um, First and foremost, uh, the video series for this one is actually, for me, proving relatively uh, uh, popular uh, in the sense that I've actually had a couple of comments on them uh, from a couple of uh, really nice guys. There's one there from a couple of comments from a guy called Gerard, uh, Gerard Cox, I believe it was. And he gave me a bit of a tip on the fact that healing people uh, whilst pause and then coming out of pause and immediately telling them to do something else is not necessarily a good idea. Um, because they just go off and do the other thing I told them. So that was a bit of a stupid move by me, but thank you for that. And he also, on episode two, I think it was, correctly identified the fact that I have completely screwed myself over by being quite smug on the idea of not making the clubs that you have to do for the final challenge in order to progress through the game. I thought I was being clever by not doing that and to letting the game sort of drag out and give my chance to build up skills and experience, things like that. But as Gerard correctly pointed out, uh, at the moment they started attacking, uh, they would be extremely difficult to kill and that's exactly what happened to me, which is why I ended up restarting into this world. So thank you very much, Gerard. Uh, the other person was a guy called Charlie and he made some very uh, complimentary comments about my skills in this game. So clearly he's not watched anything else on the channel because if you think that I'm a skilled player, then you've probably got some kind of insanity-based issues going on there, so probably worth getting yourself checked out there. But no, in all seriousness, thank you guys. It really does mean a lot to have you guys uh, giving me some positive feedback and knowing that people out there are actually watching and or enjoying the series because although I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it, it's still nice to know that there are other people out there that are sort of enjoying what I'm doing and I'm not just sort of talking to myself via the medium of YouTube. So thanks again, guys, and I hope you keep watching. Uh, other thing that's happened since then is that the game has been updated. So we are now in 0.6 dot something 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 and there's been a couple of different changes made from what I can tell. I was given a warning when I started this that the game was, this game is from a previous version and it recommended I start a new one. So I'm not sure whether we're going to hit across any issues because of that. Hopefully we won't, we won't because I do want to crack on with this colony because I'm quite attached to some of these people now. Um, but I've just been having a scan around before I started recording and just looking at what's new. And there are a couple of different things. There is uh, this over here, which is uh, they've added in this concept of awareness now. So rather than it just being a more sort of linear attack scale where they just keep coming, uh, things you do such as increasing your population, um, increases this awareness and then that in turn increases the sort of number of attacks and how... Uh, how hard they are. There are also things you can do to reduce that awareness level, I believe. So that's added in a little bit more depth. And, um, you know, it was sort of a little bit sort of, well, grindy in a sense of once you sort of got to the level I'm at, that they just sort of come and attack. So there's, it's nice that they're starting to move towards, uh, you know, an idea of a more sort of variable attack kind of thing. Um, I just noticed there's this square around my base now. I don't know, that's just a window screen. Sorry, I'm being dumb. Ignore that. I didn't say that. I definitely didn't say that. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> that was so stupid. Anyway, at the moment it says I'm at 0%, so either this is not going to work because I'm on a new thing, or it's going to suddenly realise that I'm on day 28 and have a massive population and colony, and it's going to shoot straight up to the top. So we'll have to see what happens with that. There's also, they've opened up some of the research stuff. Um, what are they added in? Alchemy? That, no, that's not there. So some of the water stuff uh, that, was, that wasn't in before we can now use. So then we might as well unlock some of this if we have quite a lot of uh, research. The thing I really did want to get to, I think, was... Uh, I'd quite like that. Um, this. Task for size plus one. So that allows me to take an extra person with me. So I do want to get that, but it is 1,500 bloody science. That's quite a lot. 
Uh, this is new as well. Uh, we can get that. See, that, uh, here we go. This is one of the ones. Camouflage. Awareness generation minus 15%. So that slows how often I get attacked, I guess. That's also quite a nice one. Gathering efficiency. Uh, so how much have we got? 2031 science. Uh, uh, yeah, screw it. Let's just do it. I don't think we're going to be able to get it all, but let's get that. And let's get the logistics. Can we just about afford that? Oh, we can. Awesome. Okay, now we can take one more person on our trip, which is good, because that's what we're planning on doing. Uh, they've also added in this. is new, I think. Kevlar. That wasn't there last time. I'm pretty sure it was just machines below mineral extraction. So I'm assuming that's going to need composites and some kind of cloth or materials. So I should look at getting some... One thing I do I say I want to do is get some better armor, because I've got just a very basic crappy armor at the moment. Lookout post. Not sure what that does, but we'll have a, look, a go at that at some point and build one of them. And I think the rest is... Pretty much the same. There is uh, charms, I believe, is different. I've not seen that one before, and I don't really understand what that does. But you know, so we can unlock it and see. And that's about it. I think the rest of them were all here last time. Uh, yeah. And the only thing I really do want to get as well is medicines, which I can't. I need another sixty science for because uh, I feel like I should get the better quality first aid kits for that but we'll we'll come back to that at another time so let's let let's unpause and let the colonists go about their days we'll check back in we still got Brittany the beast uh, level seven combat how close are you to level eight uh, not brilliant that's fine you're still good Brad you're injured what happened to you Brad we need to fix you Brad go get fixed and how are we doing on supplies? 99 hours of food, a million years of water, yeah, a decent supply of scraps, that's good, and a million years worth of a cult again. Uh, crafting wise, where are we at? Ooh, what the hell's that? Pickles? Hmm, that's new, that wasn't there last time. What's that? Gunpowder, okay. Do we need gunpowder for making guns now, maybe? You do, they've added in gunpowder. Oh, I have better armor. Oh, I can make some of this. Holy words. I think when we looked at it last time, I determined that this gives you better max health and evasion. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. I should have probably been paying attention to the fact that I was about to be attacked. That's fine. That's fine, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, we, we, we'll, 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 we'll do something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't want to be attacked before I even remember how to play. That's fine. That's fine. We'll be fine. Okay, what's coming? Uh, two minor demons and a reaper. That's not too terrible. Uh, anyone out in the, out of the base right now? I don't believe so. Good. Uh, where are you, Brittany? Oh, there you are. Come on, sniper girl. Let's get you in. Deborah, what do you have? You have a gun, don't you? You do. You have the machine gun, so you can go in the front one. Uh, Eric's just a bow, so you can go be actually go there. Who's got the other sniper rifle? Is it Liz? No, Liz has the demonite bow. I oh, know Liz does have it. Who was that then? Jenny. Jenny's got the demonite bow. That's fine. Liz, Jenny, uh, Tom. Tom is a mega gatherer now. I've just noticed. Level 10 gathering. That is pretty cool. Right. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to worry about kiting. As long as Deborah gets in there first. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and our first lambs to the slaughter. Yes, excellent. That's fine, they haven't made them super more difficult. I was kind of just suddenly thinking as they were walking down there that, oh, what if they made them really difficult and just going to muller through my base? I'd be like, right, well, that's the end of this series, but probably not. Right. Uh, what are you doing, Jenny? You, you, you all have nothing to do, or...? Maybe we should make some them to craft. Uh, we can make alcohol, wheat. We've got loads of wheat. We can make everything. We have just so much of everything. You know, make some more scraps because we always need scraps. Uh, make some of them, make some of them, make some of them. Uh, we can make some of that. Let's make some gunpowder because we'll need that. Uh, what is it again before I go crazy? Wood and sulfur. Uh, makes five, so I'm making twenty there. That's that's about. Oh, okay. Oh, we got loads. We got loads. A bit more alcohol. 
and nutrition 40 45 make some of them and make a load of sandwiches people like sandwiches so let's let them have it right that'll do though let's get out on the road and go and cause some trouble where people live right so we should probably do a bit of scouting to start off with i think uh ooh demon scout that is new and concerning there aren't any on the map right now so yeah, let's scout an empty one I have a fear well I've got a I feel like these scouting missions sooner or later are gonna result in something bad um, who don't we really care about Eric you've done all your cult so you can go run Eric run how's he doing no, no, no Hellgate. What's this stuff got? Holy shitbags. <gasps> Fallen Angel. Ah, oh, that was the other thing I saw in the patch notes. There is actually... Let's pause this before anything else happens. There is another enemy. And from what it said in the patch notes, this guy is a bit of a dick. I believe he's got quite long range, which is what... He's not that strong, but he's got very long range. And he's a reaper -y, long range -y, shooty person. So... Yeah, might have made life simple. I'm kind of hoping he won't outrange a sniper rifle. That would make life very nice if he didn't. But uh, canned food. That's new as well. What else we got around here? Anything interesting? More fallen angels. Ooh, wow, the else we get out here, there's some pretty hefty attack. Three fallen angels? Are you kidding me? Oh, I hope they're not too strong. Otherwise, this could uh, be difficult. Four succubuses there. Let's do one more scouting mission out to here and see what happens. Eric, you're going to be our designated scout for now. Uh, and... Nope, still nothing. God, how big is this map? Uh, let's scout out here as well while Eric, he's on his way back. Uh, I don't want to send Brad because I like Brad. I take him out on moving on places. Uh, you know, Annabelle, you've really never done much for us, so you can go. <sighs> Loads of military bases. Composites, gunpowder, gun parts. I should probably put it in slow-mo while I'm thinking about things, I guess. Uh, let's do, can I scout? And I have to scout to the ones I've already kind of roughly covered. Annabelle, you're going again. And I want someone to go to here. Uh, where is he? Who was I sending the other one? Eric. There you go, Eric. Rush. Run, 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 people, run. You're be hanging around in the demon infested world. <gasps> okay. Okay. We found one. We found one. I don't know why I'm whispering. Anyway, what's here then? Ooh, void essence. We need that for unlocking something in the research world. Eight demons? Eight demons? Okay. Six fallen angels. Okay, so. God, that's really close. Fla right, plan number one find a fallen angel. Uh, somewhere close. Anywhere. I just want, want a place with one fallen angel. None. None. Is it everyone? Uh, maybe this is Fallen Angel Town over here. Everyone, all the ones over here seem to be Fallen Angels. I imagine probably because I haven't started a new game, it's only going to be ones I uncover that will have the Fallen Angels in them, which is problematic because all the ones I haven't uncovered are a long way away and therefore have lots of scariness. I'm certainly not feeling as confident as my. Uh, initial sort of talk was uh, at the beginning about how I'm you know you know I'm like yeah oh, I don't even need to worry about fighting these guys anymore because they're practically is that possessed yeah practically just exterminating them at this point but actually I'm suddenly feeling a bit nervous now I'm having to put my uh, money where my mouth is as the uh, saying goes uh, what have you got here okay one fallen angel Two werewolves, two demons, one succubus, one miner, and one possessed. Right, I feel like we can do that. So, 
Let's go do that. And then we're gonna then we'll come back and yeah, and probably make up some more sniper rifle, but at least this way I can get a feel for what the Fallen Angel does and go from there. That is my thinking. Right, so we're going to take all the guns. That's our four top shooters, and then Brad, you can come with your crossbow. We need to get Jenny some uh, armor, really, but... We could stick around and make armor first, but yeah, let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Right. Come on. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Okay, this is new. There are several factors that affect combat difficulty in Judgment. Enemy progress. As time goes by, the demon infestation spreads and enemy becomes stronger. Later in the game, you encounter a larger number of more powerful creatures. Okay. Awareness. Enemies become aware of your presence over time. Larger populations are harder to hide and generate more awareness. Okay. When awareness is high, there is a higher chance the enemy will raid your colony with stronger forces. Many other elements can affect enemy awareness, such as research and missions. Don't let your colony grow faster than you can hide your presence or you may be overwhelmed. I don't really like the idea of what overwhelmed in this game might look like. That's kind of scary. There are hostile creatures nearby. I know. I know, that's specifically why I came here. Hey look, some of the uh, corpses have kind of turned into skeletons now. Maybe, well, it has been a couple of weeks since i played, so maybe they've rotted away. Right, so, Brad, get to the front cannon fodder. Where are we going to set up? It was like this area here. Now this is the one with that, uh, okay, no, we need to get forward, don't we? Uh, guys, can you just form up here for a second? Just in case we aggro anyone along here. I like it that it was this level for the first time placing a fallen angel. Okay. Shift you up to here. Um. Okay, guys are coming in. Right. Uh got possessed in a succubus. Brad, fall back. Move up, please, Jenny. What's your range on that, Jenny? Not brilliant. Ugh, I really... They're going to get funneled through here, so... None of them are ranged. Liz and Brittany. Deborah's got the front with the machine gun. You can come back to here. And... Oh, God, they're coming. There's more coming. Oh, no, they're all coming. Open fire, guys! Oh, yes, shut... Okay, go on. Oh, whoa, okay, that demon's taking some shots. We try and... Oh, God. Uh, I really don't want these guys to get one-on-one -on -one with that demon. Now you all need to come this way. Uh, Brad, pull around here. Uh, we're going to hopefully juke that. Oh, okay, guys. Stop. Brad. Brad, you may need to be sacrificed, I'm afraid. Uh, no, Brad, don't stop. <laughs> this would be a bad time. Oh, thank God. Right, just keep running, you. Yes. Uh, uh, are there more? How many have we killed? One, two, three, four. I believe there's more than that. Um, so I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to circle Brad round this way. Get these guys; they're out of range to here, and hopefully, by the time we circle them round, they'll be in range. Oh shit! Oh, sorry, Brad. Oh, Brad. Okay, guys, you got one shot at this because Brad is not... Oh, no, no, no! Take him down. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh Brad, you are lucky. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> okay, Brad's not that lucky. Okay, I don't know what's... I think it's another demon, maybe. 
Let's uh, we'll give Brad a bit of healing and then we'll send him back to the back. I don't think he can be cannon fodder anymore. Yeah, that was unfortunate with them aggroing straight away. That was that was unfortunate. Right, uh, Liz actually, Debbie, Deborah, even you need to go there. Deb needs to go. Actually, Jen, can you heal Brad? And don't unput do anything else. God, I didn't heal very much here. Yeah, I definitely need to get those better ones. Right, Deb, Jenny, Liz, Brittany, or other way around. Brad, you can kind of stand over here. Oh, yeah, actually, Jenny, you're going to have to go out and, and aggro. God, they, I don't know if they were just missing, but they didn't seem to do much damage to that demon. Like, before, it was like a few shots and they were dead, but maybe they have changed it a bit. We're going to have to exercise additional caution. I was starting to get a, a little bit blasé towards the last recording session. and Unfortunately, Harry paid the price for that. And uh, Yeah, i gotta, I got to remember. i got to remember. These are still demons. There's still a chance that they could murder. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, it's the fallen angel. Shit, shit, I forgot about the fallen angel. God, I'm such a brain donor. Oh, God, there's loads of them left. Take up positions, Jenny. Uh, where's the fallen angel? Oh, go wow, he does have a big range. Is that bigger than the uh, sniper? Hmm, looks about the same. The werewolves are catching up with Jenny. But once they come around this corner, they're going to get murdered. He says, are they missing or are they... Uh, they are only fifty two percent. Okay, they must have they must have nerfed this a bit because before I was getting like a hundred and fifty percent. Jenny, can you lead them back this way? Uh, uh that sniper does some damage. Uh lead him back. What's his name? Uh Deborah, I suggest you run. Oh, that sniper does definitely does some damage. We definitely need to get more snipers before we do too much more. Certainly before we go anywhere near that Hellgate. Yeah, Deborah's little pew pew machine gun doesn't seem to do much now. Okay, who are you shooting at? Just out of interest. Okay, you're shooting at Liz. Are you in range of these lot? Yeah, you're well in range. Um... Oh, good shots, guys. Nice. Double team to the head. Dead. Okay, so what do we get? Holy note, holy words. Okay, that's used for the armor. Okay. Okay, that was actually a little bit stressful. So they have certainly made some changes. Um, Uzzah. It's kind of weird they've glitched it over there, but I don't know what, what Uzzah would be. Get acquired loot makes sense. Well, what would us be? Oh, sorry guys. I'm sort of uh, breathing a sigh of relief as I often do in these games because I actually thought for a moment then I was going to lose somebody. But we didn't. Oh. Okay, do we want more colonists? Right now I don't think we need more colonists. So Sorry dude. You're going to get eaten. Right, Brad. You need healing again. Do some healy, healy work for you. Okay, everyone needs healing. 12, 23, we've got 100, and that'll do. Go on, and everyone can have a bit of healy time. I know they get healing from sleeping, but yeah, not much, basically. Can we build another bed? I feel like we should have another bed. We've still got this place to build inside with, so we got we got some spaces left. Okay, so we want to get working on sniper rifles. That's what we definitely need. So, what do we need for more snipers? Gunpowder. Oh, just gunpowder. Damn it, I should have made more while I didn't need gunpowder. Oh, we've already got gunpowder crafting up, so... We'll just let them get on. And... Can we get medicine now? We can. Let's get the medicine. What does it take to make better medicine? Oh, only alcohol medicine scrap. Paramedics kit, 
Okay, using combat to restore health to injured survivors. Uh, which is the better one? 15 scraps, 6 medicine, 10 cloth. 20 scraps, 10 medicine, 10 alcohol. So I'm guessing the doctor's bag is the better one. What did we use up then? All of our alcohol. That's fine. Still actually crafting alcohol, so that's fine. Right, guys, carry on with your day, your business, whatever it is. Just do all the craftings I need doing, please. So I think I really, literally want to get to the point where everyone's got sniper rifles, I think. I mean, I, I, was, I was thinking about this, you know, I kind of jumped straight to sniper rifles because they seem to be the top level weapon. Now we can make one. Um, but accuracy 80, range 10, attack speed 15, damage 30. Yeah, I mean, there might be one of these which is better, like, close up. Or maybe the shotgun, which I haven't unlocked yet. But, I mean, basically, the sniper just seems to be the best weapon. I don't, I mean, I, I don't really know what else to say, really, other than that I might as well use that. Because it seems to be, it's got the longest range, which in this game seems to be very important. The further you can keep the assholes away from you, the more likely are you, you are to survive. Um, particularly with those new fallen angels, that's... Uh, Definitely something that we need to be focusing on is keeping them as far from us as physically possible. Uh, what did I want to get? I wanted to get the Kevlar. What do I need for that? Yeah, just more science. Awesome. Keep sciencing, Brad. Brad and... Oh, Deb's doing some science. That's weird. Brad and Annabelle normally are the ones who are doing science. Um, oh, Okay. Oh, okay, right. So our awareness is now at 37%. Oh, sorry, I apologize. I didn't notice if that was uh, going there. Okay, what the hell is this? That said 21 days originally. Now it says 18. I thought it was kind of a glitch and it just hadn't synced to my day. I don't know what that means now. Uh, I feel all unknown about this game again. I was oh, so much happier when I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Okay, so let's... Oh, okay. All oh, right, that was that thing on the map. Let's just pause things. So I'm guessing if I don't go out and kill these people, I will get attacked. Two succubus, a ghost, demon, imp, werewolf. <sighs> Ignoring them or losing the fight raises awareness. Well, given that if I lose the fight, that probably means everyone's dead. I can have bigger problems. Do we have any more snipers? Did they build the sniper? Not yet. Uh, <laughs> oh, we can send an extra person, can't we? We should probably take advantage of that, I think. Um, Who are we going to take with us? Where's Brad at? Brad, you can come. And I think who else are we going to take? We could take Tom. He's all, everyone else is zero. Oh, let's take Betty. She's a level two at least, I guess. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, I don't really recognise this map. Uh, is this the bottom here? Uh, this is like a nice little spot here, but. Eesh. If they're down there, that's that's bad. Okay, so who are we going to use as the runner? Brad. One, combat. I think you're the shittiest uh, thing. Betty, you're two, aren't you? Brad, you just volunteered. Right. I really want to get him down into here, but I have a feeling I'm going to aggro people if I go down there. Brad. Keep going. Tell you what, Brad, you're going to go down here and scout, and then if it's. If they're down there. I'm kind of hoping this is a dead end. Oh, it is. Awesome. Right. This is our bunker. We shouldn't aggro that because Brad's already been through that path. There we go. Right, so Betty, what have you got? You've got the crossbow, haven't you? So I'm going to put you on the end. Debs, you're going to go there. Jenny, 
Liz, go there. Jenny, go there. Right. Okay. So hopefully we can bring them down from the north. That would be beautiful if we could do that. I'm interested to see what effect this has on our awareness, whether it's going to sort of put it up or put it down or change that number of days, but <sighs> who knows? Who knows? So yeah, go away from these games. Oh shit, here we go. Shit, don't not pay attention. Yeah, I go away from these games for like a, a week or so, thinking, oh well, I'm, I beat that game now. When I go back to it, I'll just murder everyone and forget about it. Yeah, and then I come back to it and it's like, oh shit, it's actually a lot harder than I remember. And there we go. Kill the ghost. No, kill someone. Brittany and Liz, can you kill the ghost, please? Brad, you can turn around and shoot that guy. Oh shit, it's a demon. Betty, pull back. Oh, Jenny. Uh, Brad, appreciate you running away that far, but come on, snipers! Boom! <laughs> I love that crunchy kind of headshotty sound. Okay, so we killed that. So what does that do to our awareness? Uh, twenty-three percent. I think that dropped it by fifteen percent, or I feel like thirty-seven, forty, fourteen percent. Okay, so that does help matters for guys to get back yeah, here they come where did they come on which side did they come on from or do they just appear back in the base yeah they just appear back in the base that's fine that's fine okie doke so did they make the sniper rifle yet for me no they're still cracking for everything else but that's fine what about, did we get enough science for the Kevlar? Kevlar. Uh, we're almost there. So let's finish off that research, see what the Kevlar makes, and then I'm going to wrap this episode up because uh, we're running out of time or running over time. So we've had a reasonable day, though. We've done... Uh, we uh, we found the Hellgate. That was kind of the state of objective. I didn't say, I don't think, that I was going to try and take it out in this episode. Uh, obviously, I would have liked to, but that's a hell of a lot of things, particularly with these demons being quite hard to put down now. So, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little, little uh, you know. I was kind of thinking coming into this, I'd just scout, 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 find Hellgate, go murder, win the game, champion Timmy. But unfortunately, it doesn't feel like it's going to work out just that simply. So... Oop, did Tom, did you just make the sniper rifle? Or are you just standing around doing nothing? Yeah, you have no task. I don't know why you won't make it. I'm wondering whether I should get one of these, but I think I want to see what the Kevlar is first. 663, could somebody please go back to the research table? Oh, there we go. They are doing it now, and there we go, awesome. Right, so what does it take to make that? I'm guessing composites and cloth. Scraps, compasses, and clock. Ooh, we can actually make that. Uh, evasion 22, armor 4. Armor 2, armor 5. There, this is, this, this is the best armor so far, I think. I mean, that's good in a way. I guess evasion is just, they miss you, maybe? You know, we're going for demonite armor. We're going to use the souls of our enemies to protect our precious bodies. But we're going to do that next time. Uh, so next episode, I think, yeah, we're going to try and get as many sniper rifles together as we can. And we're probably, he says, if he gets plucks up the balls and the courage, we're going to go out and uh, try and have a go at that Hell's Gate. So I've been Timmy, and this is uh, Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. I hope you're enjoying the series, guys. And if you are, leave a comment or a like or all those usual things that YouTubers ask you to do. But, oh, I just got an achievement for 30 days. Thank you very much, Steam. But, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.